If any of you guys are in the UK on the 2nd of November, come along in the morning, Saturday morning, to the Holiday Inn in Bloomsbury for the London Coin Fair, where we will be launching the Silver Forum Lounge uh, in collaboration with myself. There will be sample slabs, prize drawers, and maybe some coffee and donuts or something, if you're lucky as well. I'll try and fit in a variety of different things in today's video, but I think one of the things that I get asked most often about is this grading difference between AU and MS. So to illustrate this, we have two coins. One is a, an 1817 Sovereign in MS 62 plus, and the other one is in AU 58. For those of you who aren't that familiar with coin grading and are watching this video, AU stands for almost uncirculated, MS stands for mint state, and AU58 is the highest almost mint state grade that is uh, given by the third party grading companies. Um, you then get normally the occasional MS60, usually MS61, MS62, MS63, and so on. Um, so what is the difference between these two coins and why is the mint state coin uh, mint state and why is the AU coin AU58? You're looking at the mint state coin, you can see quite a lot of the original luster is still on, on the coin, although the 58 is also quite uh, lustrous as well. The the colour on the AU, on the uh, on the MS coin is better. Uh, it's got a slightly more original colour, a deeper orangey yellow tone. Uh, the colour of the 1817 is not quite as good as that. You can see if you compare the, the lettering round the coin between the two, you can see that it's slightly less crisp on the 1817 AU58 coin. Uh, it's slightly uh, and that crispness is really a sign of wear. So this 1817 coin was in circulation for a very short period of time before it was taken out. It does have a little bit of wear. And the main difference between an AU coin and an MS coin is when you look at the absolute high points of the coin, there are normally signs of flattening or rubbing on the AU coin which aren't present on the MS coin. In theory, they'll only give the MS grade to coins that there's really no sign of wear. Although I've noticed uh, sometimes there's a weak strike, but sometimes uh, some, slights of, some signs of wear get through on an MS coin. Um, when I originally sent the one on the left in for grading, I was hoping it would get a 61, but comparing it now between an MS62 Plus, which is almost an MS63 in the eyes of the grading companies, um, it's pretty clear that the coin isn't as good as that coin. Um, it has had some signs of, signs of wear, slightly flatter, the colour isn't quite so good. Um, is it still worth buying AU58? Yeah, a lot of people say that that is the absolute sweet spot when buying coins in terms of price. Um, the AU58 is probably about two and a quarter thousand pounds. The 62 plus is probably four thousand pounds. So you can see that just by going up two grades, you're actually having to pay a lot more money for these coins. So uh, there you have it. It's October, it's the Coin Connection, one of the very few dealers to care about quality and modern coins. And the code for this month is Thomas. Yep, it's Thomas. I always hope that my series of videos are as much about learning as they are showing off um, valuable and lovely things. So I always like to mix it up a little bit. So the first half of the video was hopefully the learning bit, where we got to see a couple of similar coins in different grades. And now the second part of the video is about the real coins that people are collecting and sending in for grading. And uh, this package arrived from uh, Romania, 
uh, collector in Romania who uh, collects British coins, a lot of British coins, and uh, has sent me his collection of silver coins to grade. I don't get a huge amount of silver coins these days. I think a lot of people have moved away from silver a little bit onto gold. Uh, I think silver can be a problem uh, with spotting and hazing and uh, it changes over time and I know that a lot of people providing they can afford to uh, pay for the coins in the first place have a preference for gold over silver but this particular collector is like many many collectors and has a focus on uh, interesting royal mint coins 50ps mostly proofs um, and this person is absolutely not alone. This is probably the hotspot of British coin collecting at the moment in terms of numbers of people involved. Uh, it gives a great way for uh, younger people to enter the hobby and build a collection without making the large scale investment that gold entails. And, uh, and I think there's a very big collector's market in these coins and they can certainly do very well. For example, the, um, the snowman coin, um, hopefully this one will do very well in grading, but the difference between an ungraded example and a 70 graded example is about £70 or so uh, at the moment. So uh, if you get a 69, that's a different question, but if, you, if you're lucky enough to get a 70, uh, then the grading fees on that one are certainly covered. This one has been bought, I suspect, because this person collects uh, each year silver Britannia and uh, I like the Britannias I particularly like the design of this year if any of you out there have a one tenth of an ounce proof 2019 please let me know because I would very much like to have one in my collection and uh, if you're breaking up a set or you're you want to grade a set and sell me the one tenth of an ounce then uh, please get in contact because that's a deal that I wouldn't mind doing but um, it is nice to see these coins be graded. Um, if you are a collector of these coins and you are thinking about sending them in for grading, then please, please check them with a, with a loop, with a magnifying glass. Check that there is no surface blemishes on these coins because <clears throat> if they don't grade a 70, then you may very well not cover the grading fee for submitting these coins to NGC. So you may have other reasons like uh, that fits in with your collection or you prefer them graded, but in terms of the financial equation of grading, then please make sure these coins are as far as you can make out a perfect 70 before they go in for grading to NGC. So we've got uh, six coins here. The, these will be graded at NGC under the modern tier. So in terms of grading costs, um, these are £18 per coin uh, in pounds. And if you were in America and you were grading modern tier, it would be $17. But uh, over in the UK, we have VAT and some other costs uh, of this particular type of transaction. So I mentioned that um, people mostly send gold coins in. And uh, this package here is uh, a couple of modern Royal Mint gold coins. And uh, actually these two, they're both the same coin. Um, I know what's in the package. Uh, they're both the same coin and they're a coin I particularly like and a coin type that I think Royal Mint do very well. And they are the 2019 Paddington coins. So um, every... Brit certainly knows about Paddington Bear and Paddington's adventures um, from far flung or furthest Peru. And this is uh, Paddington outside the Tower of London. Um, and you can see the, a little bit the way these coins have been produced. There's a big difference in design between the Paddington bit. Um, it's been superimposed onto the Tower of London uh, behind. Uh, but I think this is really nice. And the other 2019 one is always Paddington at St Paul's Cathedral. I've had a couple of those in as well. But these gold ones in particular, pretty low mintage, highly collectible. 
and lots of people are in the market and going after these gold 50 pence coins, particularly the ones in this series and some of the other series like Beatrix Potter um, as well. Look forward very much to uh, your comments uh, and uh, I read pretty much every comment that's ever made on one of my videos. So if you comment, I will read it and probably respond. <laughs>